The Global Positioning System, or GPS, was invented in 1973 by the U.S. Department of Defense to overcome the limitations of previous navigation systems. The system was developed to provide location and time information anywhere on Earth where there is an unobstructed line of sight to four or more satellites. Then, in 1996, U.S. President Bill Clinton declared GPS to be a dual-use technology accessible to civilians. Four years later, the Australian Institute of Sport approached a team of engineers to develop GPS-enabled sensors for their talented young athletes. Catapult was born in the process and revolutionized performance management, giving coaches around the world an objective voice. But, as teams relied more on this technology, demands for accuracy grew beyond the capabilities of GPS. Instead of making incremental improvements to the filtering of GPS data, Catapult reinvented the positional component of wearable technology by making its monitors GNSS-enabled. GNSS, or Global Navigation Satellite System, is an all-encompassing approach to satellite-based tracking. This means GPS is still a vital component, but where dropouts and poor satellite reception are experienced, GLONASS, Russia's Global Navigation Satellite System, doubles the satellites available to dramatically increase the accuracy of the monitors. When combined with GPS, GLONASS extends the operating conditions so that precise measurements can be made even when there is partial sky coverage. It also reduces the velocity noise in difficult conditions by providing more satellites that can be used for velocity calculations. GPS is an invaluable tool, but it's only half the tool now. Don't get left behind. The teams using GNSS are rushing ahead.